Yes, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to Finance Discipline. Um, I want you guys to listen to this uh, guy, Mr. Kevin O'Leary. He's the he's, he's, a, he's a top expert on finance and 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 he's also on crypto. He's a Canadian investor and he some he comes on shows there all the time. And I want you guys to listen to what he's gonna say about why everybody should inv think about crypto as a viable option of investment because it is true, guys. It's not a joke anymore. Crypto is here to stay. Now the government is going to try to regulate that. I'm wondering how they're going to do that. I think they, it's not going to work, but we're going to see what's going to happen, guys. I don't think the, the bottom line for me about crypto, it should not be regulated. Um, or maybe it should be regulated at a minimum level. It should not be, not be, reg, it should not be regulated on, a, on, on, a, 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 on every level because crypto is like, a, 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 it's like the, the currency of, the, of, of, of mankind. It's not a currency of one nation. Bitcoin is traded the same way it is traded in China as in America. It's not a different currency rate, you know what I'm saying? So it's perfect for all of us. And we're not relying on the banks anymore. We are moving away from the big power. I think, guys, technology is the best way to go when it comes to everything. Economic, economical, even economical um, equality. Because you look at everything. Like right now, you got anybody, they can create their own currency. That's the world you want to live in. You want people to, to, anybody can become a millionaire. I don't need a bank. Anybody can create their own currency. Anybody can uh, create like what I'm doing, a YouTube channel. So, so guys, listen to what Kevin O'Leary has to say, and let's talk about this carefully, guys. All right? Investment advisors and Shark Tank investor Kevin O'Leary. Happy New Year, Kevin. Great to have you on the show. Thank you very much. I want to start with this sell-off we're seeing in stocks. Actually, the last, last week, really rough start to 2022, and we're seeing the Big tech get beaten up really the most with the NASDAQ now uh, formally in a correction. Are you using this as a buying opportunity? And if so, what are you loading up on right now? I am, actually. I mean, first of all, let's talk about the volatility in tech. Um, tech stocks are historically volatile. They trade at high PEs. Many of them trade based on growth metrics, not necessarily earnings. And that gives them very, very high multiples. And so generally speaking, they have volatility. But the way I look at it in corrections like this is, has, has anything fundamentally changed in their business models? I mean, are you going to use Zoom less? There's a speculative name. Are you going to use Google less? Or is it going to continue to grow? Is Microsoft still going to be an enterprise platform? The answer is yes to all these questions. And so when you get volatility, generally speaking, in my world, I take advantage of it because I have to deploy capital all the time and I have to decide where am I going to put it? I like growth and I understand it's going to be volatile. And days like this, I remind myself, I've seen this movie before, go back 17 years on Amazon, which I've owned for almost that entire stretch. We had 30, 40, 50% corrections each year, and yet look where you end up today. And so I look at it and say to myself, let's learn from the past, apply that to the future, take advantage of volatility, the economy is strong, the use case for technology, it gets more important enterprise every day in every part of the globe, that's the investment thesis. So Kevin, we know the new year brings a lot of headwinds, but there are also lots of opportunities. So what is the biggest opportunity for investors as you see it in the new year? Well, the, the one that uh, I really found interesting uh, over the last 24 months has been um, crypto and, and blockchain technologies and tokens and NFTs. You know, you have to make a binary decision about this stuff. And this is very difficult for many institutions. I talk to them every day because I'm in the indexing business. And many of them have not even started their journey into cryptocurrencies. But the reason you should think about it is this. This is, this is how I, I wrap my head around it. And I think it helps investors to think this way. If you invest in Microsoft and Google and Amazon and so many of these other platforms, what is the core you're investing in? It's basically software. Google software. Well, Bitcoin is not a coin, it's actually software. The blockchain is software. Ethereum is software. HBAR is software. Polygon is software. So the real decision is if you're willing to invest in software because it's a productivity tool as an equity, such as Google, why wouldn't you invest in software such as Ethereum? Bam! You got it? 
we are all used to invest in Amazon, Google, uh, Microsoft, all those software companies, everything software, right? We do, we invest in them. We, we've been, we, it's almost like we've been trained to believe in software companies, right? That was the beginning. It's almost like a, an entry level. We, we were studying and we started to invest in all those companies, right? And we, we, we did very good with them. Now, new thing came up, cryptocurrency. Now, cryptocurrency is out. It's a software also. Now, what's wrong with investing in the, in the software currency? I'm telling you, everything should be software. We Look, look at the metaverse now that uh, Facebook is creating. The world is going to be like totally virtual moving forward. And guys, if you don't want to, if you want to stay backward and not move forward, it's on you. We have to move forward with this. But in everything, in every investment, in every new technology, there's discipline. And I believe in long-term investment. Discipline is the key for success, guys, for financial for, for financial success. You need to be disciplined. You don't invest everything. And you're gonna, I think you're going to hear Kevin O'Leary talk about it a little bit here. Because it provides a service. I, I, I hate to say this. I have to play the clip a little bit more again because I, I love that clip too much. I'm sorry. I think it helps investors to think this way. If you invest in Microsoft and Google and Amazon and so many of these other platforms, what is the core you're investing in? It's basically software. Google software. Well, Bitcoin is not a coin. It's actually software. The blockchain is software. Ethereum is software. HBAR is software. Polygon is software. So the real decision is if you're willing to invest in software because it's a productivity tool as an equity, such as Google, why wouldn't you invest in software such as Ethereum? Because it provides a service, particularly in payment systems, that is being used globally. And that's sort of my investment thesis. And then the question is, which coins, which tokens, which blockchains? And for that, I apply the same rules of diversification I apply to my stocks and bonds. No more than 5% in any one position, no more than 20% in the whole sector. So. I'm not anywhere near 20% in crypto. I've just gone over 10.7 in, in, in our operating company, but I have a plethora of positions. And I'm going to make this decision there that this is even more volatile than technology equities. And it certainly is. Bitcoin's having one of its worst starts ever. But you have to get used to it, just like you have to get used to Amazon, where it would have these 30 to 50% corrections. Same thing with Bitcoin. Wow. That's amazing. So, you know, Amazon used to have 30 to 50 percent correction and Bitcoin, it's kind of like the same. It's like, you know, so we have to be ready to understand that Bitcoin is going to shake a lot. and It's going to shake a lot. But eventually the long term uh, view of Bitcoin is going to be high. OK, there's there's many experts that say that Bitcoin is going to hit 100K this year. So, you know, what I'm saying you so you got to understand that. So I feel like um, just stay with it and he talk about the discipline he has like a percentage he put the discipline that he has he, he has like 10 percent right now in in crypto i think he said there yeah? and he doesn't go all the way you know and he he splits up all the investments so that so that if one fails not everything fails that's the way i look at the world guys like uh that's true it's uh that's the way i look at the world of crypto guys subscribe to my channel please support me we're gonna go forward man we need to be disciplined moving forward and be careful with credit card debt and stuff like that. So I have a section uh, that also talk about credit cards and stuff like that, the best credit card for you. But now this is my crypto uh, playlist. All right, thank you. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.